taking C. Yep, you're fucking suck. In the middle, in the middle, in the middle. Wow. Hi, Bainbot. Those are so loud. Enemy by plane inbound. Taking me. Like they just can't stop me. If they're trying, they just can't. All right, boys, here we are in a private match. We got the gold QBZ 83 equipped right now, and this thing's pretty uh, disappointing to say the least. Like, the gold on this gun, you can hardly see it. Like, look, when I'm sprinting right now, you can hardly even tell that the gun's gold. Like, I don't know, that's pretty bad. If I actually liked this gun and I wanted to rock gold on it, I'd be pretty uh, disappointed, but it's whatever. I'm just getting this thing gold and then moving on to the next one, so I don't really care at all. But yeah, there it is, gold QBZ 83. Class setup at the end of the video, just like normal. After the gameplay I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to drop a class setup too with the different attachments I run. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Next gun is the FAR, the last AR, guys. We got one more AR, and then we're completely done with ARs. We'll have diamond ARs, diamond snipers minus the Barrett. I think I'm going to go on to submachine guns next because I really want to use that MP5 and go on some crazy kill streaks and get some cool gameplays and clips for you guys. So yeah, be on the lookout for that. But anyway, that's going to wrap it up for me here in this segment of the video. QBZ83 Gold check mark done this gun and yeah one more look at it there you go guys they're dominating us go on the offensive taking b
Oh, that's a person. Yeah, let him take the little key. Alright boys, here we are over at the class setup for the QBZ, and before we hop into it, I say this in every video so far, these are the attachments that work the best for me. When I use a gun and level it up, I try out a ton of different attachments, I see what works the best for my playstyle, and I kind of run with that, so... I play hardcore so attachments aren't as important as in core because obviously the damage it's a one shot kill with the ARs so it doesn't really matter at the end of the day what's on my gun but this is kind of just what I do prefer to run so let's hop right into it. So for the optic I rock the microflex LED I always rock this the only gun I wasn't rocking this on was the AK and that's just because I love the AK iron sights but every other AR I've gotten gold so far. I've been rocking the micro flex. It's just kind of like an OG Call of Duty red dot. I like it. It's simple and it works well. For the muzzle, I rock the agency suppressor just because in hardcore there's a lot of camping, there's a lot of sound whoring. So if I can be a bit more silent while I play the game with the suppressor, I'm definitely going to rock that. I've been rocking it pretty much on every AR I've used while grinding dark matter. So I would highly recommend rocking a suppressor. For the underbarrel, I rock the field agent grip. This one's kind of a hit or miss. If I were to switch something out and try something else, I would take this attachment off just because recoil control isn't that important in hardcore. Um, if you're playing core, obviously the recoil control is a huge because you want to be able to put a lot of bullets in enemies and be able to finish off kills. If I were to change something, I would take this off, but for now I am rocking it. For the mag, I rocked the 40 round speed mag. Before, I was just rocking the 40 round drum because it didn't have an ADS time effect. But the 40 round speed mag, I was trying it out and I didn't even really notice it because once you get the elastic wrap, it gives you ADS time so it kind of cancels each other out. And yeah, I really like the speed mag, man. As you saw in the gameplay, I was getting two or three kills, popping a quick reload and getting back in there, getting more kills. It's super nice. It's super quick being able to replenish your ammo like that. So in the future, I'm probably going to be rocking the speed mag. And lastly for the handle, we got the airborne elastic wrap, man. Best attachment in the game, in my opinion. You get it late. It's worth the grind. It gives you ADS time, flinch resistance, and you can also drop shot with this thing. Obviously, the flinch resistance is kind of irrelevant in hardcore, but... I still like it, it's still good to have. The ADS time is the big one, and being able to drop shot for the odd time when I do want to hit the deck and drop shot someone, it is really good, and it catches people off guard because you can't drop shot without this attachment. I think there's another one that you can drop shot. Yeah, the drop shot wrap, you can drop shot with it, but the elastic wrap is so good players don't expect it so yeah guys that's gonna wrap up my qbz 83 video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you made it this far in the video you're an absolute legend and i appreciate you drop a like on the video if you enjoyed and if you're new feel free to subscribe we are on the road to 1k we just hit 400 so i want to thank you guys for that and yeah we're gonna keep grinding we got the far next it's our last ar like i said earlier and then we're hopping into submachine guns and we're absolutely gonna shred with the submachine guns guys so i'll see you in the next one and have a good day